Hi everyone, it's Karen from the Geordie Grandma. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sunday morning uh, collaboration from the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube who include myself, at Busy Bee Marie, at Maria Crocker and at Tina's Talk Time. So you know, as usual, once you've watched my video, you can go across and watch their take on the same topic. And today's topic is our top five favourite things. So our top five favourite things that we've already got in our houses. We haven't been out and, and bought them. And I found this one quite hard um, because it's hard to narrow it down to five favourite things. So I thought I'd choose five things that I use on a regular basis. I thought that would make it easier for us. So I've got a mixture of different things. So I'll just go through them one by one and show you what I've got. So my first favourite thing that I use quite on a regular basis is the Clever Fox Planner. Now people might have heard me talk about this before if you watch my channel for a while. It is a 18 month planner. Um, it doesn't have dates in it so it doesn't matter if you stop and you know for a few months and start again. The dates aren't um, an issue. And I th what I like about it, I think it's got a it's got a few things that I like about it. So it, at the front, it's got um, it's got pages for that light's a bit bright, isn't it? Pages for things you're grateful for, your affirmations, what you're passionate about, skills to learn, and habits to adopt for the year. If you want to write those kind of things down, it's also got. A couple of pages there for your vision board. I actually wrote a blog post not long ago about um, creating vision boards for your retirement. So I'll put a link to that below if you're interested in that kind of thing. Because I do find vision boards quite useful um, and quite fun to do as well. So yeah, it's got a couple of pages there if you just want to put your vision board in your um, planner. It's got a couple of pages where you can do your overall goals. So it's got goals for life, business, family, relationships, personal development. So you can jot down your goals for the 18 months um, in there. And then you can break it down into three month goals, which I quite like because it's, it's, it's always handy to break things down into bite sized things. It's got a mind map page if you prefer to jot things down um, in that format. And then it has a month to view uh, calendar page so you can jot all your things down in there. I use this planner mainly for um, the YouTube channel and the blog I've got so because I've been working um, at a job for the last six months I haven't really been using the planner that much but as I finish the job next week I'm going to get back to using the planner which is why I like the fact that it's got no dates in it uh, because it didn't matter that I haven't used it for a while. So it's got the month to view planner. Then this this um, bit I like is the monthly review. So you can look back on the goals that you set yourself um, and see what was good and what was bad and you know what you felt about it. And then it has um, it has weekly calendar pages in there, so you can break your you know your your monthly stuff down into weekly things. It also has a page on there that's got your main goal for the week your personal to-do list, um, this week's wins and how you'll improve next week. And at the back of the planner is quite a few pages of bullet journal pages, if you like that sort of thing. Um, the planner also comes with stickers, a few pages of stickers that you can use if you're into that sort of thing. Um, you can pop them on. But yeah, I just love the the Clever Flock, the clever Fox Planner. This is the second one I've had. They do them in all different colours. I had a blue one before and I like the rose gold one for this time. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend it. I'll link, um, if, if I can link to any of these products down below, then I will do so you can go across and have a look at them yourself. But yeah, that's the Clever Fox Planner. My second favourite item that I use every single day is the Body Shop Vitamin E Overnight Serum in Oil. Uh, I absolutely love this. I've been using it for years. That light, it, it's really dull outside so I've got my ring light on and I think maybe it's a little bit too bright uh, but there I think you can see it. So it comes in a nice kind of glass bottle um, with a little dropper and I just put one drop on each of my cheeks on a night and then just, you know, spread it around my face. And it is just so, it is a beautiful 
um, serum. It says it nourishes, soothes and recharges your skin while you sleep uh, and it really does make my skin feel smooth and just moisturised. You can put a vitamin E um, night cream on top of it. I don't always use the Body Shop vitamin E cream um, on a night time but I do do sometimes put a moisturiser on the top of it but I don't think you need it um, so yeah I use that every night and I have been using it for a few years highly recommend the vitamin E um, serum very nice it's not too oily either it's not one of these oils that makes your, fe your face feel like you're, you know you're, you're clagged in something um, it's just nice and nice and lightweight um, it doesn't really have a smell Maybe it's a very, very faint scent of raspberry, um, but that's about it. But yeah, I really like that one. Now, this next item is something my son and daughter-in-law bought us maybe about four years ago now, and I have used it a lot, um, and I need to stop using it so regularly because I'm wearing it out. And this is my Venjula Cat Cafe bag. I just love this bag. I'd um, I'd seen it on the on the Venjula uh, website. Venjula, if you don't know, is a a website based in the UK. It's um, that sells uh, bags, um, glasses, cases, key ring, uh, charms. It also sells purses, wallets, lots of different kinds of things, and they're all very quirky. So if you like quirky stuff. Um, this is the site for you. It's all vegan uh, leather, so you know if that's important to you, you definitely want to go and have a look at this site. But I just, I just think that bag is so cute. It just makes us happy just to look at it. I'm, I'm a big cat fan, um, as you may know, um, and that's just, that's just right up my street. But I, I have to say, I have used it quite a lot, and it is kind of slightly wearing now. It's got a little cat on the back there. And the, the lining inside is, is a travel theme. So it's, you know, it's got like the Eiffel Tower. Uh, it's got um, the guards of Buckingham Palace, things like that. Um, it's also got a penny farthing on it for some reason. But I just, I really love that bag and I, I definitely use it a lot. They've got some lovely uh, themed, different kinds of themed bags. So as well as the, the Cat Cafe bags, which they don't actually do this design anymore, they do boutique shop front um, designs. There's, there's ones with dogs as well, if you're into that kind of thing. I even seen some, it must be like a rock and roll range where it's like the shape of Freddie Mercury's yellow jacket um, and that they've turned that into a handbag. They have got an English Coast scrap range which is absolutely beautiful there's also a, um, a tattoo um, shop range where they've got like you know a little tattoo shop on the front of the bag with I think that's also got cats and stuff on it's a spa themed range there's tons and tons on there and I really need to go and buy some more stuff um, so yeah definitely me Venjula cat cafe bag one of my favorites so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel before i go on to the next two items if you haven't already subscribed it would be brilliant if you could because it really does help me channel and i have noticed that 48 percent of people who actually watch my videos don't subscribe to my channel so please just hit the subscribe button i don't know why i'm pointing here because i don't think it's there um, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe and if you want to get notifications when i put a new video up if you hit the little bell that will also give you send you a notification to your phone so you can con continue to watch i do as well as the collaborations with um marie maria and tina i also do other videos i do try on hauls i do beauty videos i do shopping hauls i talk about um low carb stuff just lots of different lifestyle things that would you know suit uh, women over 50 um because I think women over 50 are just not represented enough and so we need more women over 50 on YouTube uh, and we need more good stuff for women over 50. It's not about funeral plans and you know chairs that, that help you stand up, although that would be handy. Um, we need more than that so that's what I talk about on this channel. So enough of that and back to my fourth favourite item which is, and this is a household product, this is the Astonish Mould and Mildew Blaster. 
um, that leaves surfaces hygienically clean and this is an absolute wonder product I think it is fantastic and it's only £1.19 I got this from Home Bargains and I've, I've been using it for about probably about three years now we did have a problem in our bathroom um, a few years back where I think it's because we've got bad ventilation in there um, the grout the 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 white grouting was black it was just awful and we kept saying we're going to have to retile the bathroom and oh this is just not good and it, nothing worked with it you know you tried to clean it nothing worked so I saw this in home bargains and I had heard about it from other youtubers so I thought I'd give it a go so Warren didn't believe it was going to work. He says, how good is that going to be for £1.19? So while he was at work one day, I sprayed the bathroom, bathroom with it. You're supposed to spray the tiles. I think it does other things other than tiles. But you spray the tiles, leave it for five minutes and then rinse it off. Now I probably had to do this about four times and I did leave it for about 15 minutes each time and then rinsed it off, sprayed it again. So I did it about four times, maybe even five but I was absolutely gobsmacked. They came up like new. I, I couldn't believe it. And when Warren came in that night, I went, go and have a look at the bathroom tiles. And he was gobsmacked as well. So highly, highly recommend that. I wish I'd taken before and after pictures, but I didn't. Can't believe I didn't. But yeah, the Astonish Mould and Mildew Blaster. Definitely, if you've got problems with, you know, grout, it's going a bit off colour. This definitely works. Now my last favourite item is something that I just got recently and it was actually gifted to us but it has become an absolute must have item and this is my Luxia Arc Chill Cooling Blanket. Um, it's probably a double size but I do keep it to myself. It has got a, a, the cool side on one side and it has got a warm side on the other side if you want to use it um, to feel a bit warmer. But this cool side, it's been so hot recently, clammy hot, that sometimes I don't even bother with the quilt. We just took the quilt off and I put this over us. And it is just, it is amazing. And there are some nights where we have had the quilt on, but I've woken up through the night and I'm just really hot. I'm hot all the time. So I've woken up through the night and my legs are just burning. My feet are too hot. Throw the quilt off, put this blanket on us, and it is instant relief from the heat. I, I, I can't, I can't recommend this enough. I really can't. Even though it was gifted to us, I was really surprised at how well it worked. I couldn't be without this now. So if you suffer from, you know, hot flushes or nighttime sweats or anything like this, you need one of these. It is brilliant. I just, I'm so pleased. I, I was sent this. So pleased. So those are my five favourite items. Um, remember, don't forget to go across and watch Marie, Tina and Maria and see what their five favourite five favorite items are. Um, I'd love to hear what your favourite items are. Just leave them in the comments below. If you've used any of the things I've shown you, let me know what you thought. Um, if you've got something you think that I would maybe like, let me know in the comments below. I always like to hear what you have to say. So that's everything I've got for, to, for today. We'll be back, um, well, the Transatlantic Housewives will be back with our Sunday morning, what did we call it? The Sunday Sunshine Show. Next Sunday at half seven. It's going to be every, every Sunday morning at half seven, so it'll give you something to look forward to. We'll be back with something else. I'm not sure what it is next week. I think it might be a Q&A, um, but we'll let you know, obviously. I may also be bringing you some other videos through the week. Once I've finished work next Friday, I will be bringing you hopefully three videos a week so <laughs> that's something you can look forward to hopefully so thanks so much for watching um that's all i've got for you so bye for now